That usually connects to someone's energy But you're acting used to me Don't act like you used to around me Are you getting tired of all my love? I need to know cause baby when push comes to shove I need someone around Someone to hold me down What's up? It's been a while since I've done a vlog. I'm try. I, I honestly, I tried doing a vlog two weeks ago, um, and clearly that did not come to fruition. It just once I, it's vlogging is something that once I've been out of it for a really long time, I have a super hard time getting back into. Anyway, Sage Green and I are enjoying our time together. Uh, Sage Green has basically become a personality trait for me now. If you follow me on Instagram. You know, I'm very recently obsessed with sage green. But today is a fun day. We're about to go work out. Then I have my normal client work. Then my friend Emily is coming over to record a podcast today. We're probably going to talk a lot about like relationships and dating and all that stuff. And yeah, so let's get along for this day. I've got a matcha. I've got a positive attitude. The sun is shining. What more can we ask for? Hey, hey, hey. That song, that's my current hype song. I listen to it every morning. I get my hips shaken. I get on my hot girl and I get my day going. I think we, <laughs> I think something all of us need to do more of is listen to music that makes you feel like that. I think it's something we need. I don't know about you. Hot girl summer is coming up. We gotta get the energy aligned. We gotta align the hot girl chakra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Walking like I'm feeling myself. I just hit the husband like I'm posted on the shelf. Cha-cha, samba. Dancing like a contest Sick go with the moves I wish them well Can you hit Like I did Can you sell the way From the trip Keep your grip Now rock the ship Say goodbye I love no more gifts Let me see you shake it I'm open no in the pista Watch me while I say it I won't fake it Let's go salsa Si tuviera me PR, mamacita Ay, yeah. sigue siendo lo lento Ay, yeah. me pone mal tu movimiento Ay, yeah. estoy juzgado y no te miento Ay, yeah. esto es pa' largo y lo presiento 
Okay, everyone, I am back from the gym. Have been for a while, if we're being honest, but I left the camera in my car and I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna go get it right now. But I'm about to make a little bit of lunch. I've just been working on client check-ins. So I'm gonna just take you through what I'm making for lunch. So lunch is ready. I like to keep my mid workday meal a little bit lighter. I keep it more like protein, fat, and fiber focused just because I find that cognitively I do the best with that. If I have a denser meal, if I have like too many carbohydrates midday, this is just a really weird thing that I've noticed anecdotally. This is not like backed by anything, but I just feel the clearest mentally and I'm the most efficient with work when my mid day meal is just a little bit lighter. So I'll do something like this. It's also quicker to eat than something that's like really heavy and very involved, if that makes sense. Keeps me full with the fiber and the fat and the protein, uh, but then I'll keep my heavier meals and my more carb dense meals around my training time. And then I'll also have a more carb dense meal before I go to bed. I love having my oats before I go to bed. Um, and so that's kind of how I kind of split up my day, but I'm gonna go eat this on the balcony because it is beautiful out today. And then Em's gonna come over and we're gonna podcast. So there's lunch. If you try it out, let me know what you think. working on client check-ins then i've been working on i'm still working on it my buff bunny collection swim launch post because the swim stuff launches on saturday so i'm trying to get a post all together of like my thoughts um but now i need to pause and i'm actually gonna like productively multitask um hopefully and cook up some stuff while i work on that post okay so emily's here before we podcast i'm like you can go through <laughs> my clothes and see if you want any of the ones that I'm getting rid of. Oh, it's so bad! This is literally like half of what I have to get rid of. This is just what I could carry downstairs. It was like 
like right above my ankles for me, so it'd probably be full length for you. Ooh. You want some balls in your wire? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so weird right now. Where, oh, where is the ball? All right, so I've been on a Riesling kick lately. My German ancestors must be trying to tell me something. But uh, this one is actually uh, ice Riesling. So we're trying it and we're doing what's called uh, La Piscine or Vin Piscine, which is like pool wine where you drown the ice in wine. Apparently the French do it. So my French ancestors are also proud. We're gonna taste test this live on the podcast that we're about to do. So you'll have to listen to that to know how it is. It's just pretty. That looks very pretty. All right, <laughs> let's do it. All right, everyone. So I just wanted to wrap up the video here. I know it wasn't the longest video. I know we didn't do a ton of chatting and catching up in this video, but like I said in the beginning, I'm just trying to get back in my vlogging rhythm. So as imperfect as it is, we're here, we're doing it. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are. I hope this video brought you a laugh, brought you some joy, brought you some good feelings. The podcast with Emily is live. So you can find that on iTunes. You can find it on Spotify under Embodied Radio. It is episode 105. We talked about, well, we did our wine tasting. We talked about dating. We talked about sex. We talked about relationships. We talked about it all. So if you are in need of some girl chats, go check that out. And that's going to be it. So I love you. If you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe if you like what you're seeing here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.